Veterans Day, people across America take time to honor those who have served our country. One author dedicated 10 years of his life to track down every living American veteran of World War I. Author Richard Rubin is with us this morning to talk about the resulting book. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So you spent 10 years of your life. Why so long? Why are you dedicated to telling these stories? Well, you know, the story of America in World War I is a story that's really not told very often in this country. A lot of Americans have forgotten that America played a significant role in that war. And I felt that these last few veterans presented us with the opportunity to revisit that subject and to reclaim our history. Now, this was a challenge for you because some of these veterans are over 100 at the time? Well, actually, the baby of the group was 101. Uh, wow. the, the oldest uh, men I interviewed were 113. So they ranged, they averaged about 107 years old. Were they excited to share their experiences? You know, to my surprise, they really were. They were, um, you know, the thing you hear about veterans is that they don't like talking often about their experiences in combat. And so I was quite nervous about that setting out. But in fact, everybody I uh, came in contact with was not only willing to speak with me, but actually eager. Okay, now they talk about the Forgotten War. Mm -hmm. What were things that you learned from this experience, hearing these people talk about, about themselves? Well, you know, I learned just how significant the war was to that generation and what a lasting effect it's had on this country, really to this very day. The America that we recognize, the America that we live in and enjoy, really is a product of what we did in World War I. Now on this Veterans Day, what do you hope folks at home will get from reading the book? Well, I hope that folks will uh, realize that America really did play a very important role in that war. Mm -hmm. That in fact, the war would have come out very differently if we hadn't entered. You know, people I think often think, well, America got into the war late and we didn't do very much. And it is true that we sat out the first two and a half years of the war. But our contribution to that war, once we did get into it, was tremendously important. Were there any personal stories that really connect with you? Oh, uh, a great many of mm -hmm. them. Um, there were, you know, people talked about, uh, even though they were very stoic typically as a group, mm -hmm. they talked about uh, how afraid they were. They talked about what it meant to them to be over there. I mean, many of them had never left the county in which they'd been born mm -hmm. before they were uh, recruited and sent off across an ocean to mm -hmm. fight, uh, you know, to fight in the greatest war the, the, the planet had ever seen. Now, any lessons from World War I that actually apply to today? maybe that we should pay attention to our history. Well, a great many, yes. We should, uh, uh, we should be very careful before getting into anything, mm -hmm. know what we're doing, why we're doing it, who we're fighting with, who we're fighting against, mm -hmm. uh, and, um, of course, to, to take care of uh, the men and women who fight our wars once they come home. You know, these mm -hmm. veterans, once they came back from World War I, having seen terrible, terrible things, th there were no services, no safety net in place for them at all. There was no GI Bill for them. We should certainly respect, honor our veterans, whether they're over 100 or they're 22 years old. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, you can catch a presentation from Richard at the National World War I Museum today. It starts at 2.30 this afternoon, and it's free.